So next patient is a 75-year-old gentleman who has uh, multiple medical comorbidities, including quite extensive cardiac history. He was admitted with epigastric pain and fever. Urgent CT showed a distended gallbladder compatible with acute cholecystitis. He has been booked for a U.S. guided gallbladder drainage. Yeah, so um, yeah, ap apologies <laughs> for squeezing in this case because uh, he's a bit unstable and um, he's got multiple medical problems and uh, we are uh, running this trial comparing uh, EGBD versus uh, percutaneous cholecystostomy. So uh, I have Mark beside me, uh, we're going to do this procedure. Uh, this patient, the uh, ox oxygen uh, saturation is a bit lowish, so we want to finish this procedure quickly. So um, do you have the x-ray Do you have the x-ray of uh, this patient? Yes. So my scope position is in the D1 area. And uh, do you have the EUS uh, image? Yes. Right, so you can see uh, the gallbladder is right here. So the, you can usually find the gallbladder at the medial wall, uh, at the lateral wall of the D1 area. Uh, it's quite distended. And if I follow the gallbladder, you can actually see the cystic duct here. It's also quite distended. And all the way down to the common bowel duct, which is located around here. So um, I have a good position now because I struggled a little bit just now with uh, finding a good position. It's a, it's a small window. Huh? It's a small window. And uh, I calculate the wall uh, thickness. It's around 7 millimeters. So uh, it's uh, okay for me to do a user scope bladder drainage. So uh, if you have the external view. Yes. Anthony, Anthony, before, before performing the procedure, so I'd like to ask uh, Colin, your... Uh, the indication of this procedure? So, so this patient is uh, suffering from acute cholecystitis. Uh, usually, it's, uh, usually these patients should have a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, but uh, this patient is, very, is old and he has multiple medical problems, obstructive sleep apnea, previous cardiac surgery. So probably not for uh, surgical, uh, not mm. a surgical candidate uh, today or in the future. So right now we're uh, going this randomized trial comparing uh, US gallbladder drainage versus percutaneous drainage. So uh, in our previous retrospective study, we found a much uh, lower risk of uh, complications for EGBD uh, arm. So we're carrying on this uh, randomized trial uh, currently. So uh, Professor Itoi is part of my uh, collaborators, and uh, we are working on this trial in a multi-center setting. Right, right. Yes, but today we can say that this is the indication is for inoperable patient. Huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, for now. Maybe for now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So uh, I'm using the hot axios system. So this is a, a hot axios at the tip. There's a cautery. So it allows me to burn through the, uh, uh, do a transmural uh, puncture of the gallbladder. So I have a pretty good position now. So I think I'm going to do a direct puncture with the uh, hot axios system. Um, in cases uh, which I expect some difficulty, then I can consider uh, putting in the wire first. Uh, I always use a wire first in yeah. my, in my uh, small experience with, uh, with the gallbladder drainage, but you are more experienced than me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're my teacher, definitely. So, um, okay, can we uh, connect the uh, cautery for this patient? What kind of current do you use? Uh, pure cutting? We use a pure cut, okay. a high voltage pure cut. Okay, so connection is at the back. So there are several knobs in this um, hot axial system. The first knob is to push in the uh, delivery catheter. And the fact that the scope is bended is not so, so difficult. You, you can use it. Most of the time it can, can come out quite well. It's we'll 11.5 uh, French, huh? the, the, the size yeah. of the, the So they've axios, now huh? improved the uh, 10 French. So we'll try a little bit and see. Okay, you can see the needle coming, the uh, dev device uh, coming in now. Okay, I've just lost position, so I'm going to change a little bit. Okay. Uh, hold you again. Maybe you need that somebody maintain yeah. the, sc the scope. Okay. okay. It's okay. Okay, okay. So I think this is a good position. Okay. 
So I'm going to uh, apply the current now. Okay, you're So on. it's inside already. Yeah, very nice. Okay, I'm going to push in the scope a little bit more. Now you push the wire inside to, to stabilize the, the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I don't have to. So I can, I'm going to lock the uh, outer sheath of the uh, hot axios and then I'm going to open up the internal flange. And this part of the examination is due, uh, is under the X-ray guidance uh, only. And, uh, uh, the, and, the, and the US. Yeah, correct. Okay. Okay. Yes, now we see the... So you see very well the uh, yeah. inner flange, okay? So I'm going to, you can see, can you see the inner flange of the X-ray, uh, the yeah. uh, US right here? Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to open the uh, proximal flange. I'm going to lock this and then, um, okay. You, you pull back a little yeah. bit the catheter, no? So you can see on the uh, endoscopic view, the X uh, black mark, can you see that? Yeah. yeah. So wheel, I can uh, open the proximal flange in the... Uh, Channel. Okay. Okay. We we, we and see then the pus uh, coming. You can see the pus coming out. Okay. So that's the completion of the procedure. And you don't live inside the nasocystic drain or a pigtail. Uh, that's one option. So um, you can see a lot of pus coming out. So uh, I'm gonna do some irrigation in the gallbladder. Okay. Can I have the guide wire in a bit more? Okay, it's not going in. Okay, no worries. So, can we remove the whole system? Anthony? Yeah. So, uh, this ten, w w how, w which size? Uh, 10 millimeter in diameter? This is or a 15. 15. 10 times 15. Okay. So just, uh, just, drainage, just for drainage, I, I'd like to dr uh, 10 millimeter in diameter hot actions. How yeah, so. So uh, in the past, uh, we used to judge it on the stone size. Mm -hmm. So for if the stone is less than 10, we use a 10 millimeter. If it's more than 10, we use a 15. But um, recently, we've been doing a lot of uh, cholecystoscopy. So we do a follow-up uh, EGD in this patient. Um, with the 10, it doesn't admit the uh, regular endoscope very well. So we've been using a 15 recently. and. Um, can I have the uh, bottom catheter? Do you dilate the, 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 the stent uh, before to, uh, to leave, or do you wait uh, that the stent will uh, do the dilation by uh, itself? Usually, uh, it will dilate in the next day. So okay. I don't do a dilatation unless uh, I can see uh, some large stone uh, obs obstructing the lumen of the stent. Okay. Yeah. But um, what I do now is do some irrigation. Anthony? Yes. Uh, which is better, the transgastric puncture or transduodenal? Yeah, uh, for us, uh, we much prefer the transduodenal uh, uh, method because uh, we have uh, some problems with the foot impaction. Yeah, and, and okay. also in the paper published, there is less complication in a transduodenal route than uh, the transgastric route. Yeah. Uh, and also more uh, leaka less leakage, bill leakage. Uh, because the position in the, in the duodenum is more stable than in, uh, than in the gastric uh, yeah. Uh, area. Yeah. Um, and also, we observe some phenomenon uh, for stents in the stomach. Sometimes they have uh, some um, tendency for migration. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it migrates outside the stomach. Okay, thank you, Anthony. Uh, nicely done. Thank you. We'll move on and thank we'll you. see another case. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much.